Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Milton here, and today we'll be specifically answering the question on why you need a Boss DM2 analog delay pedal. Delay is the most essential effect out of anything that currently exists. And if you believe that delay is essential, then the only question that remains is, what delay should I get? I'm not trying to sell you on my personal favorite for selfish reasons. I have thoroughly tested this theory. I've consulted the literature. I've climbed the mountain and spoken Spoke to, the, to gods. the gods. I've meditated to reach new spiritual heights, questioning the true purpose and meaning of delay. We've taken it to the streets. Would you agree that the Boss DM2 is the best delay pedal? Uh, yeah, yeah man, man. Like, like, totally. totally. I've even went so far as to call Guitar Center. Thanks for calling Guitar Center. Hey, man, you guys got any, like, intro-level vintage analog delay pedals? I'm actually not totally sure. Um, uh, those are... Yeah, I'm not mad, I'm not. And now that I've returned from my spiritual quest, I can confirm that the Boss DM2 Vintage Delay Pedal is the best delay pedal in existence. And keep in mind, we're in the 500 bucks or less category because the case could obviously be made that an actual tape delay unit like a Roland Space Echo is superior. So staying in the realm of pedals, what is it about this Boss DM2 delay pedal that makes it the pinnacle of time bending beauty? The apex of cool sounding effects. To find the answer we seek, Let's, Let's take, take a, a look, look. Back, back in time. time. The delay effect and rock music have shared a rich history together. From the first slapback delay heard on Elvis's That's Alright, oh, oh, right, baby. Ever since the DM2 was first introduced in 1981, savvy musicians have embraced the special magic that only a vintage Boss DM2 analog delay can bring to their sound. That's why this long discontinued vintage pedal has fetched such high prices on the used market for decades now. The DM2 has this rich, full sound, and it's all due to the all analog circuit that utilizes the infamous Bucket Brigade device or BBD chip to create its effect. It's capable of a wide range of tones from a quick slap back all the way up to long repeating echoes. The character of this BBD chip is distinctly different from digital delay which tends to be very crisp and defined. In contrast, the DM2's echoes sound somewhat dark, fuzzy, and lo-fi. And, lo and these characteristics, characteristics intensify with, with each echo, echo repeat. repeat. The coolest the cool thing, thing about the DM2's lo-fi delay tone is how well it complements and supports any musical signal you could run through it. You can run guitars through this, keys, vocals, you name it. The DM2 produces that magical glue that takes an already great sound and makes it even better. So what is this Bucket Brigade device or BBD chip inside that creates the distinctive sound? Well, it's an all analog circuit within a circuit. And it's all contained within this small chip that's responsible for the delaying of the incoming audio signal. And it's important to note that this chip is actually the only reason why an analog delay could be made to fit in, into stomp box form in the first place. The term bucket brigade is a reference to a technique used by firefighters to extinguish a fire by passing buckets of water one by one down a line. To help explain how delay and BBDs work, let's stick with this analogy. The water is your incoming guitar signal. The buckets come in the form of capacitors inside the chip. These capacitors carry the musical signal down the line just like the buckets carry the water. Because the capacitors are continually filling and emptying, this slows down or delays the signal as it takes more time to pass through the sequence. Imagine a line of a thousand firefighters each passing a bucket of water down the line to each other. You're gonna get a fair amount of spillage. This spillage also occurs within the BBD chip, meaning more noise and distortion are added to the signal as it delays. The resulting sound is that characteristic warm, smooth, and organic sound of the analog delay. And the funny thing is, the reason this sound is so cherished and sought after is actually due to the limitations of this chip. So, if you're looking to add some analog to your recordings, pick yourself up a vintage Boss DM2 delay before they go up in price even further. I guarantee you this will become one of your most utilized tools. Thanks for watching and until, until next time. time.